ay ang AIDS collection specialist sa uh, Bureau of Internal Medicine sa loob ng city. What is your resident address? Um, I am residing at 255 FB Sibelius Street, 6th Avenue, Grace Park, Talocan City. Um, the witness um, is testifying under, under oath. Ms. Mish Ferrer, 27 years old, a collection specialist in the Bureau of Internal Revenue, Talocan, and residing at 255 Sibelius Street, 6th Avenue, Grace Park, Talocan City. Counsel, your witness is ready. Thank you, Your Honor. The testimony of witness, Ms. Ferrer, is being offered to prove the following, to disprove the allegations in the informations, to prove that accused is not guilty of the offense charge, to testify on the other circumstances surrounding the incident complaint of, to testify on other matters relevant to the case, and to identify attachments on her judicial affidavit. May I proceed, Your Honor? Dear uh, Miss Witness, do you know why you are here today? Yes, I am a witness to the incident that happened at the BIR. Do you, re do you remember having executed a judicial affidavit relative to this case, Miss Witness? Yes, I do. If this judicial affidavit will be shown to you, will you recognize the same? Yes, sir. I will uh, permission to share the screen, Your Honor. Okay. Miss, Miss Witness, uh, I am sharing my screen. Um, can you see my screen, Miss Witness? Yes, sir. Um, there's a judicial affidavit. Um, a five-page judicial affidavit. Can you go over the same as witness? Yes. Is this the same judicial affidavit that you are referring to? Yes, it's the same judicial affidavit that I expect. On page four of this judicial affidavit, or on page 45 um, on, this, on the record, um, there's a signature above the name of Miss Misha Ferrer. Whose signature is this, Miss Witness? That is my signature. Thank you, Miss Witness. In your judicial affidavit, um, particularly in question number 14, you mentioned um, that Arturo sent a screenshot to you um, about the conversation of Arturo and Heidi. If this screenshot will be shown to you, will you recognize the same? Um, yes, sir. I am showing you the fifth page of this judicial affidavit, or the page 47 of the record. Um, is this the same screenshot that you are referring to? Um, yes, it's the same uh, screenshot that was shown to me. Thank you, Ms. Witness. Your Honor, the screenshot was uh, provisionally marked as Exhibit 2 during our three trial. May we request that the same screenshot um, be permanently marked as Exhibit 2 for the accused Honor? Okay. No objection. Uh, what we already compared is only between the screenshot being shown and the form. The screenshot has shown on the form already conducted. Can you tell me? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, they are the same. Okay. Anything else? Anything uh, else? Yes, Your Honor. I will share my screen again. Okay. Miss Witness, um, do you have something to add or amend in your judicial affidavit? No, sir. 
do you affirm and confirm the truthfulness and veracity of all the contents of your judicial affidavit? Yes, sir. With that, Your Honor, may we move that this judicial affidavit be formed part of her direct testimony, Your Honor. Okay, this one. Uh, pages 42 to 46, Your Honor. Okay. The judicial affidavit identified by the witnesses made by those in as her direct testimony. Cross examination. Who will conduct the cross examination? Um, Your Honor, I attorney them to conduct the cross examination. Proceed. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Good morning, Miss Witness. Um, can we just go over your judicial affidavit? Hello, is, is it clear? Yes, okay. Do you have a copy with you of your judicial affidavit? Yes, uh, Let's just go over some things to clarify some matters. Um, how, many, how many years have you been working? In the EIR? Um, for uh, eight years. So, uh, based on your judicial affidavit, uh, you stated from questions uh, three to, to five that you are uh, co workers with uh, the accused and the, uh, the accused and the, uh, and the complainant. Is that correct? Objection, Your Honor. There was no mention that the witness is co-employee of the accused, but only of the complainant, Your Honor. Objection, Your Honor. Misleading. There was no mention, Your Honor. Can you make objection? You state your ground. Okay. Comment? Comment on that? Your Honor, it is stated here in the answer number five that they are all working in the BIR so in my in my understanding they should all be co-workers okay. Wait, this my answer. um yes we are all uh, employees of the BIR okay. that, that, thank you so do you work in the same building do you so do you work in the same building in the different offices um same building but different offices so, how long have you known the complainant, Miss Elises? Mrs. Elises? Um, I think that is for five years now. For five years, that's, that's good, that's good. So, you know that uh, she has a spouse. Do you know that in your, that in your knowledge? Do you know that she's married? Yeah. Yes, I know that um, she's married. Okay. Uh, how about Mr. Lalap Lalapit? How 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 long have you known him? Um, for eight years. Uh, when I started working at the BIA. Okay. How about uh, the complaint? The the accused. I, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, oh yeah. Okay. The accused is say early eight years. So. So in this, uh, in your affidavit, you said that you were eating at the cafeteria during the lunch time. Is that correct? Yes. So how, how, if you can recall, how many people were there? Was it full? Was it? Uh, what was? How many people do you think? Um, I don't remember how many people were there, but um, it was mga uh, for a day because it's uh, lunchtime. Yeah. So, more or less, the capacity, seat capacity. Uh, uh, if, for your understanding, is it full or, uh, or getting full? Pa lang or, uh, um, somehow full. Somehow full. Somehow full. In, in your, in, can you recall, is there other people who are eating there besides employees, like taxpayers? Maybe, maybe are there any other people who are eating there? Yes, sir, because it's um, mm -hmm. so it's a common area where people yes. can eat. That doesn't matter yes. if it's a BIR employee or a taxpayer or not. Yes. 
Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. So in your in your affidavit, you said that you were sitting just a table away. I think it's uh, right here in the uh, answer uh, answer number seven. You said you were sitting just a table away. So can you describe that? Can you elaborate? What is a table away? Is that uh, how many meters is that? Um, the location of the table is um, uh, just close to each other, maybe a meter away. Probably a meter away. Yes. So probably because in this uh, in your affidavit number seven, you said that. Uh, uh, because of your proximity, you are you are the best person to say that you you heard what what was uh, or what happened in the cafeteria. Uh, Miss Miss, um, can you remember? Uh, do you know what what this what? what is this? Uh, it's not yet. Uh, that's that's not, uh, sorry, Your Honor. It's, I don't have a question yet. I just request to get There's so much to Anyway, you should ask questions. I apologize, Um, Ms. Vitas, uh, do, do you know what we are trying here today? Do you know what case we are trying here today? Um, yes, the incident happened on February 5. Uh, no, 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 you're right. Uh, I read the face. Do you know what, what case is being charged against uh, the, the accused? Um, it's an oral defamation case. Mm, okay. So, on your knowledge, maybe, maybe you know, um, what do you think is an oral defamation? Objection, Your Honor, opinionated. The question calls for an opinion. Oh, okay. Everything is sustained. I'll just withdraw it. Next question. So stated here in your affidavit, um, you heard, you you did see, you did you see the accused uh, go over the table of uh, Miss Elises and uh, and uh, Mr. Manlutao? Did you see that? Yes. So you stated here that uh, the accused, Mr. Dalapitan, did say something to Miss Elises. Is that correct? Okay. If, if in event did you remember that there was swearing? Uh, if, if in any event did you remember that uh, did you hear any swearing or swearing? I you cannot remember. You cannot remember. Yeah. You, are, you also said you also said here that you saw the accused. He was crying. So other than was he was crying, was he angry? How can you describe him? How was his demeanor? Of mm -hmm. the accused. He's not really angry, but um, more on he was crying and part of the incident. So can you describe, can you, if, if you can recall, how, how loud was his voice? Um, somehow loud, but many people can hear it. You, you think everyone have heard, has heard it? In your opinion, do you think everyone heard what uh, the accused said? The accused has no personal knowledge with regards to the um, how if um, other persons in the cafeteria can hear what the accused said during that time around. I withdraw. I withdraw my my question. So uh, I will just rephrase it. I will just rephrase it. So based, Mister Miss Witness, based on your personal knowledge, uh, in your table, because you said that you are just a table away. Did other co-workers in your table hear what what was said or was what what was uttered by the accused? Yes. Yes. Um, um, I think yes because 
in my case, I heard uh, the other one. So, I think uh, my co-workers eating at the same table, they also hear the same. Okay, thank you. Um, so, in, the, in your, again, in your affidavit, um, there are there are things here that you are implying that the BIR, or at least the office, knows that that Miss Elises and Miss Mandoktao has a relationship. Is is that is that correct? Is that what you're saying here in your affidavit? Um, I'm not in line, sir, but uh, many of us, or the many of my coworkers, uh, know some relationship going on between them. In, in your best of yeah. uh, Miss Witness. Hello. Okay. Yes, Miss Witness. Miss Witness. Uh, did you attend any uh, civil service uh, seminar about office conduct? Yes. Yeah, because that is uh, mandatory, right? And it's just basic when you enter any government service. So, in your, in the best of your knowledge, what, what, what does professionalism mean to you? Objection or honor irrelevant. What is the point of your assessment of the witness? Uh, just trying to establish, Your Honor, what is the point of view of the witness when it comes to office conduct and professionalism? Objection, Your Honor. The counsel uh, wants the witness to answer based on his own her opinion, Your Honor. It, it's okay, Your Honor, because it's just an, a fair question for government employees, Your Honor. So why would you like to... Why would you like to witness to answer that? Um, because in the affidavit, Your Honor, there are some answers here that imply that that there are rumors in the office that they know that there are there are um, uh, that the accused and the complainant uh, the, the yes have um, they have uh, they have relationship with each other or particularly the part of the judicial affidavit. Um, here in quite example, Your Honor, here in question number 20, the witness in our affidavit said that it is not, they know, the office knows that, that the accused and the complainant have already passed, they already have passed altercation. Objection, Your Honor, misleading. The witness did not say that it was true, that it were rumors, Your Honor. But it, uh, those knowledge are common knowledge from the office of the BIR. Uh, wait, you're referring to question 20. Yes, Your Honor. They were summoned by the chief of the department in IT shouted at Google. But it was scheduled on the same day. Yes, Your Honor. But what does your question have to do? Yes, Your Honor. Um, your, your Honor, um, because I was also previously a government employee, I, 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 because we were, I also attended the same civil service conduct, and and we were being taught that, as a professional, we should not meddle, or at least, we should not be, um, um, in, in the personal lives of others. It is not, a, it is not professional to be, uh, talking about. Uh. So, why are you objecting to the district regarding? Your Honor, that's irrelevant on the case, Your Honor. What we are trying right now is an oral defamation case, Your Honor. And it is not uh, relevant to the issue of this case, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. so you should ask uh, okay, the uh, question that has the basis for this. I'll just, I'll just rephrase my question, Your Honor. Okay, Thank you, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Um, Miss Witness. Hello, Miss Witness. Yes, I can Yes. So, so let's just focus because the good counsel said that we should just focus on on the on the elements of the case. So 
it okay if we go one by one with the elements of the case? Objection, Your Honor. The accused, uh, the witness is not a lawyer, Your Honor. I cannot um, answer on the on the question of the of the good private prosecutor. I, I withdraw, Your Honor. I will just rephrase. There is no question yet. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. There is anyway, no question. Um, if you want to know something from the witness, you don't need to ask for her permission. Just ask it. Because she is under oath and she has to answer. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Please proceed. So, Miss Witness, we go to your judicial affidavit A8. What question? Uh, no, no question yet, but if you can go to the uh, page 43 of the or, or answer eight, question eight. Okay. Yes, here you said that what you heard or what you recall was uh, the accused saying that hindi ka na nakontento sa asawa mo. Uh, is, 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 is this correct? Yes, um, sa naalala ko po, yes, yes, yung mga words na naalala ko and also, in what you, you submitted a uh, screenshot of a text message shared to you by the accused, is that correct? Uh, yes. Yeah, well, why did he share this to you? Um, because he are, I told him I am friend. So, here... What was only is this the full text or is there other is there other parts of the conversation? Um, I don't know first because that is only the finishes of the show. So, so if you can see here, uh, as you understand, they were only exchanging messages about eating with a fellow employee. So, is this is this any way? Um, provocative. Objection, Your Honor. The witness has no knowledge about whether um, the messages provoke the accused, Your Honor. I, okay, I'll just rephrase my question, Your Honor. Uh, in your affidavit, uh, Miss Witness, you said that uh, after you, after the accused said those words, uh, Miss Elises walked out of the cafeteria. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Here in uh, answer number ten, you said that Heidi rushed outside the cafeteria after. Yes. So, Miss Witness, do you think that because she walked out, what was she was she um, humiliated by the uh, by the incident? The witness has no personal knowledge with regards to the humiliation of the private complainant of this case, sir. Okay, so uh, I just withdraw my, my question, Your Honor. So, uh, just a few more questions, Miss Witness, so we won't take your time. Uh, question 19, let's proceed to question 19. Okay. So, here you stated that um, because for you, because for you, you think that the, the office knows that there is a relationship between Ms. Anises and Mr. Manduktao, and for you, the office knows that there's a relationship between Mr. Manduktao and Mr. Lalapi. Is that correct? Um, yes, because um, um, we can see 
uh, their actions, we can observe from their actions that they have a relationship because sometimes we saw them um, agree with each other. So here in uh, yes yes continue continue. Um, okay. So in answer number number nineteen, you said that you were not surprised at all that that the accused said those words. Is that correct? You were not surprised. Um. What I meant to is um, we are not surprised that the incident might happen, not with the words of the accused. So, so why why do you say that you're not surprised? Um, because I based on our observation, um, since that we knew that Galati and Rodrigo have a relationship, and Rodrigo is also having some intimate um um somehow a relationship as well with Haiti, uh, based on our observation. So we're not surprised that there will come a time that there will be having confrontation like what happened okay. so so do you think that uh, it was already building not just on that day but previously uh, I don't have an issue about that I can ask okay. okay 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 so Your Honor, I think uh, uh, no more further questions here, Honor. Okay. Um, Your Honor, my um, I would like to get some advice and some facts with the uh, problematic and the negative the Uh, 
Kaitate Kumpina and Mr. Mario Palao and Mabi Lati. With the Kaitate Kumpina, what are you going to talk about her? What about Mr. Mabi Lati? Um, yes. Did you mention to you about the relationship? Yes, because at some point when they were together, yeah, that's good. That's nothing to do with you. In your initial aspect. But it was questioned by the good public prosecutor earlier on. What was your question, Fiscal? I asked you I asked the witness, Your Honor, if Mr. Manlook now admitted to her about, admitted to the witness about the relationship, the relationship of Mr. Manlook now and the accused, Your Honor. Did you say the answer? The witness answered to the affirmative, Your Honor. And the next question is? I asked her why was it not included to her initial affidavit. It was not included because it was not it was not asked to and I submitted the judicial affidavit. Okay, but it was not included since it is not included in the affidavit. You have a that Mr. Mandoklao admitted to such relationships? I don't have that kind of time to present that in terms of conversation with Mr. Mandoklao and Mr. Ango. Yes, we don't have that kind of time to present that in terms of conversation. Okay, thank you. Also, if you can answer another question. What do you mean by complicated relationships? In answer number two, please. In answer number two, please. You've mentioned here that almost all of us at the office knows about the complicated relationship. What is complicated relationship? Yes. Because we are three in a relationship and we think that that is complicated. How so? With the degree of the complicatedness of the relationship, I don't have personal knowledge about that. But based on what we are observing in the office. Okay, so can you tell me about the degree of the complicated relationship? There is no veracity of truth about your statement here that there is actually a complicated relationship. Objection, Your Honor. The witness answered that she did not know the degree, but she answered, Your Honor, that there was a complicated relationship, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. However, the witness here is only implying based on what the accused has been informing her about such a relationship. And she cannot even prove the same. She cannot even prove the relationship that, or that there is an actual relationship between the private complaint and the Mr. Mandel's house. Your Honor, wait. Isn't it that you already asked her what she meant when she said complicated? Yes, Your Honor. And her answer is? She did not know. Because there was... No, Your Honor. Excuse me, Your Honor. The answer of the witness when she was asked what is complicated is because there are three persons in a relationship, Your Honor. Okay. So, that is the answer on why she thinks it's complicated. Yes, Your Honor. That is her opinion of complicated. Yes, Your Honor. I was thinking about what 
what she meant by complicated relationship. Yes, she already answered, she said, because there are three. So for her, the fact that there are three main relationships is complicated. Is that what you said, Madam Edwin? Yes, one. That is the reason why you say it is a complicated relationship. Yes, Yama, that is what I mean. Now, for other people, you would agree, it might not be a complicated Correct. So that's just their opinion on the concept of complicated. So what's complicated for you, Miss Carl? may not be complicated for other people. Okay? So I'll let you decide your order. Proceed to another topic. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. One last question. Uh, Miss Witness, sino who ensured to the private prosecutor a while ago that uh, there is an intimate relationship? You use the word intimate. What? Um, how can you say that there is an intimate relationship between uh, Mr. Mantopoulos, the private company? Because as what instance, he or I, together with the accused, so the three, um, Mr. Mantopoulos and Heidi, is in each other as a party. So, is it? Is that right? 
Yes. But you were sure that those two persons embracing each other or hugging each other is that right? Yes, I am sure of that. No further question, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, um, yes, hello. Okay. Uh, for the cross, Miss Witness, um, is it from, is it from for a married woman to hug another friend? Uh, Miss Lignes, is it wrong for a married woman to hug her friend or to embrace her friend? Objection, Your Honor, not subject of my idea. Your Honor, this is referring to the, the portion of the embrace. I just use another term, hug. Okay. Um, it's okay to embrace a friend. No further questions, Your Honor. Let me get this off. You said that this will be easy. Um, yes, Your Honor. I'm sorry, Your Honor, because I was just um, confused right here with the question. Um, what I saw is um, they were embracing each other in again in uh, how many times did you see them embrace? Um in that one instance that is uh, um just once at that instance. Yeah. How long? They embrace each other if you can remember. Um, when we were observing them, um, maybe a less than a minute, but we already uh, left that place because Arturo um, became emotional at that time, so we did not confront them the both. And we just left. And uh, did not Arturo confront them right at that uh, moment? Um, no. No, yeah. Did he ever tell you why he did not confront them immediately? Um, um, he did not actually uh, tell me. Um, because he was just um, trying to convince me and he refused to talk about it. Uh, and, and he said that he is married. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Did you not report that to proper authorities? Um, no, sir, because I don't want to intervene with uh, the, um, their relationship. And I don't want to also um, to add up to the person of uh, their relationship. How about the uh, legal? Is he married? Is he not? Um, as far as I know, sir, he is not married, I don't know. Not sure about that. Um, may I ask one question, Your Honor? Just one. So, Miss Witness, you mentioned that you were uh, with the accused, Arturo Lalabit, when you saw um, private complainant and uh, Rodrigo hugging or raising each other at the car exit is that right? Yes, So even you do not have the documentary evidence to prove that there uh, was indeed 
and embracing um, each other happened during that time, there was a person who can testify and witness that there was indeed um, such uh, having uh, transpired. Is that right? Yes, um, I was with Aito at that time, so you can testify about it. That's all, Your Honor. So she will be your last witness. Okay, okay. Secretary. Yeah. Um, your Honor, we find our compliance with the waiver of appearance for the accused, Your Honor. Yeah. But we are praying, Your Honor, that the accused, that we uh, present the accused himself, Your Honor, in order to um, to attain justice and in order for us to ascertain the truth, Your Honor, on what really transpired during uh, February 5, Your Honor, if the court permits, Your Honor. So that is this constitutional right. So he cannot deprive him of that to defend himself. Okay, so we will have the testimony of the accused to the next hearing. Okay, order. In today's continuation of trial, the public prosecutor, Sheila, Peter Dillon, appeared together with the private prosecutor, Attorney Roberto Bacchanti. The defense is represented by Attorney Angel Secretario and Attorney Michael Cigarro. The defense presented its first witness today in the person of Nisha Ayla Ferrer, who completed her testimony. Trial shall resume. Ah, uh, the defense likewise manifested that they had previously waived the appearance of the accused. However, they are claiming that the accused be allowed to testify in this case. The court granted the motion considering that such is the constitutional right of the accused. Thus, trial shall be shown on 1831, 2031 at 9 o'clock in the morning. The defense is directed to submit the judicial affidavit of the next witness of these three days before the scheduled trial date, furnishing a copy thereof to the admin's counsel. So, order. Let's have a five minute recess so that. Uh, Your Honor? Yes. It just me now. Um, Saturday, po, I may want to add. Ah, uh, is it real? No, no, it's real for you. Ah, yes, Your Honor. Okay. Ah, uh, but perhaps. And this time we cannot extend this because you already started the review by the day. Is that correct? So yes, sir, under some of the students go. We will wrap up. Okay, hey, uh, holiday. We are not going anywhere. So we have uh, activities on the holiday. I would rather that we finish trial next week because bar review starts. I understand probably you start me. So that uh, we will no longer. Uh, and I think the lectures will be conducted on weekends. Is there already a starting lecture on day one? Um. Probably. Um, yes, Your Honor. We have a civil law review lecture. Um, or lecture lecture on day one. Oh, okay. That's the whole idea. Yes, Paul. Yes, Paul. Okay. So, so how is it? In what time? Uh, it's from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Your Honor. That's, that's no problem. Uh, if we can meet Your Honor um, at night. Friday or Saturday night? Saturday night, Paul. If you are amenable. Okay. I'm amenable. Okay. So, Brian shall resume on uh, May 1. 